Itachi uh, quickly responded to the devastating events that hit Japan on March 11th. Um, the industry all came together in its response, and I just wanted to actually acknowledge and, and thank everyone that was in support of this event, uh, including customers, um, our partners, our regulators, and industry associations that really just came together for our friends and colleagues in Japan as, as they go to rebuild. From GE's perspective, we initially started a 24 by 7 command center in Wilmington, North Carolina, in Washington, D.C., as well as in Tokyo and uh, Hitachi City with our partner. We responded first to um, our security and safety of our employees that were in the area. Uh, secondly, we've been answering many technical questions that have come out of the industry associations as well as our partners and customers about the technology and our expertise that we can offer um, to the folks in Japan. And then finally, we were able to supply um, operational support uh, in, in GE from a broader sense as well. We have over 20 gas turbines that are going to be in Japan in support of uh, outages uh, for uh, the summer season. And, you know, likely to have blackouts, but we'll have different units that will be able to be installed uh, support both this year and, and next year. Uh, GEH has, and GE have also um, committed uh, funds and pledge to the humanitarian efforts of Japan. $10 million from uh, the General Electric Company in support of the relief organizations and the municipalities that were affected uh, throughout this event. Uh, GE employees have pledged over a million dollars that was matched by our GE Foundation for additional million dollars for these relief organizations. As we go forward, we'll learn the lessons from what has happened in Japan and incorporate that into our existing designs, as well as our new designs as we go forward globally into different markets. So I appreciate, again, all the support from the industry as, as we go to rebuild as a group and, and very proud of our response. Thanks for listening.